Howdy, Mark Serbu, gun designer, gun nut. And today we have, I don't know, I was gonna call it part three of the rifling video, but it's not gonna be a complete video because I've gotta go skiing soon, so I don't have time to work on a really big video. I, I gotta go out west and you know do all that stuff. I'm, I feel really bad about it. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> now what's funny is this is our contestant from, well, was it the last video? Yeah, this is the awful, uh, awful experience and you know what it actually has rifling in it and it's it's gonna end up being used and you're gonna see that even though it, it's got pretty rotten rifling in it it's I'm gonna make it work uh, and these are the two remaining 4140 heat treated uh, you know drilled and reamed and honed barrel blanks that actually are gonna serve double duty as uh, pins for the uh, hydraulic press because we lost the other pins in the move for the time being so these are gonna act as pins for that and got two brand new ones. These are 12L14 steel, which is the most machinable steel on the planet. It's really, uh, it's, it is the most machinable steel. It's leaded steel. It's not really high quality. You shouldn't be using it for barrels, but I'm going to do it just to see, you know, what, what's going to give the least amount of resistance to the rifling buttons. And here are two rifling buttons. This one is the Chinese one, and it's all pretty and beautiful and uh, titanium nitrated coating is tungsten carbide and here's the ukrainian ones you know i, I bitched about the last one and the, the guys the actual makers of the button got a hold of me and just as i suspected they sent me a new one for free thank you guys and this one is beautiful the last one i was like yeah this one is this one is nicely made this is done right all right let's get going all right here we go and first up is the Ukrainian button. And pilot end is the short end. Well, yeah, as I'm pointing to the long end. The pilot end is the long end. And you can also see this is a combination button. So it's got a little bump, bump right here, which sizes the rifling after it goes through, sizes the bore. So I've got this full, absolutely full of molly grease, molybdenum disulfide. Just molly for those of you who don't like four syllable words. Molybdenum. All right, here we go. This thing is kind of, kind of crappy, but it's gonna work today. I'm convinced. I'm gonna peel the. Okay. Now we're ready to use. Uh, I got these Chinese. Uh, I gotta go get them. I cut these Chinese pieces of uh, drill rod that are hardened. And here they are. They're, uh, they have them all kinds of different lengths, which is kind of convenient. So we don't have the column buckling problem we've had in the past. <laughs> Now they're hardened, and I don't really agree with them being hardened, and I'll explain that later. I'm going to be paranoid and back it off a little bit because one reason I don't like these being hardened is that now you're scraping some hardened tool steel right behind the rifling you're just making. Remember, I bitched about that in the last video. Ideally, just the, the very tip of it would be hardened where it touches the button, just the, the end, and maybe even turn it down in diameter where it touches the button. So you don't have to worry about the hardened part ever running into your rifling. And the starter. Right there. there we go. Okay, so now, see I'm using a piece of barrel here, cut off 50 cal barrel. Plenty of those around the shop. Oh, see the grease coming out? So nobody bits us, oh, I don't have any lube in there. Obviously plenty of lube, so shut up. 
I used the lube last time too. Oh, look at that. Button's right there. So, we gotta start putting spacers in. So the button can start coming out. This is very exciting, folks. Getting close to the end. Yes, yes coming through. You know, I didn't plan on using these as uh, just discs to stack up. I plan on having one that was just solid. I'm glad I did it this way because, as you can see, we got to play musical chairs back and forth with this crap. It's You know, I'm just gonna go beat it. Heat it and beat it? Nah, just beat it. There we go. There's a wrench nearby. Just hit it with a wrench. Ah. Yeah. And there it is. The Ukrainian button. No worse for wear, it appears. And of course, let's look at our barrel. Oh yeah, it's got some nice rifling. I'm gonna go and uh, I'm gonna go degrease it and uh, see what it looks like. Wish you could see it, but you know how this stuff goes. And here we are with the Chinese button. Gonna give it a shot. I guess I'm gonna put my glasses on just in case something explodes. I have a half a chance of saving my sight. All right, as you can see, it's a uh, different color. It's actually tungsten carbide as opposed to high-speed steel, and it is titanium nitride coated. That's why it's gold. And it's uh, pretty nicely made. And here we go. I'm living dangerously actually holding on to the thing, but I think it's a good idea to get it started. All right, now I'm going to get out of here so it doesn't shoot off into my crotch. It'll be a bad day, huh? Man's genitals exploded by hardened steel rod flying off at near supersonic speed. News 11. Almost through, almost through. Oh. 
There it is. Very nice. And you can see it's, uh, you can barely tell it's been through there. Can't wait to look down that bore. Yeah, it's got a little bit, a little bit of the finish rubbed off. Nothing crazy. Cool. Success. Not gonna tell from there though. Ta-da! Cut. All right. It's hard to, it's hard to see anything in this one here, but. Let's see, this is the one I just did. And I'm telling you, it's, uh, whew, you can see it from here, it's pretty spectacular. I mean, they're both pretty damn good, but uh, I don't know, that one's just amazing. It, it, that's Chinese, that's Ukraine. Ukrainian. I'm uh, much happier this time around. <laughs> All right, what I've done here is I've sectioned both the barrels and uh, you can get a lot better look inside that way. And I don't know how I'm just noticing it now, but uh, it sure looks like the Chinese button is a four groove and the Ukrainian is a six groove. But anyway, that's uh, that's something we'll look at later. But take a look. These, uh, these both look pretty darn good, but now there are some errors in there that are pretty much caused by our choice of material, which like I said, 12L14, most machinable stuff on the planet isn't really good for barrels. It actually kind of smears and sticks on the rifling button. And because of that poor material choice, the button just can't do as good a job as it's capable of. But we'll visit all that in the next installment of <laughs> rifling videos. Uh, yeah, I can't get away from them. Bottom line is there's no clear winner here yet because you know you just have to, you, you can't just use crappy material. You have to have a, a you know, proper barrel. I wish I could have done all that now, but I'm in a real hurry to rush out of town. But I promise when I get back shortly thereafter, yeah, in Mark Serbu time, I will come up with a video that, that explains all this stuff and we, we'll go into different materials and heat treats again and all that. Anyway, uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And as always, oh, no, I'm not going to be Edwin. Have a good one. Take care. Thanks.